Hey guys, welcome to the Anatomy Survivor. Today's topic is on parenchymal dystrophy. So let's dive right in. So what is parenchymal dystrophy? Well it's basically the metabolic disturbances which mainly occur in the highly specialized cells of parenchymal organs, like for example the heart, kidney or liver. To the question on how it occurred, acquired and congenital enzymatic deficiencies are considered the basis of the development of parenchymal dystrophy. Furthermore, there are a large group of storage diseases associated with congenital enzymatic insufficiencies and called thesaurismuses. Let's first understand two concepts, hyaline droplet and hydropic dystrophy. Let's begin with hyaline droplet. First, no gross anatomical changes are apparent. Second, they are seen as large hyaline-like droplets are found in the cell cytoplasm. Finally, hyaline droplet dystrophy will lead to the cell death. Now let's move on to hydropic dystrophy. Here no macroscopic changes are visible in organs. So gross anatomically they are intact. But when viewed microscopically vacuoles are observed in the cell cytoplasm. Hydropic dystrophy follows the development of balloon dystrophy and cell death. If you understood this concept let's move on to the parenchymal dystrophies. The first one is called parenchymal dysproteinoses. Here they are accompanied by the formation of protein inclusions in the cytoplasm. Disturbance of protein metabolism is often combined with the damaging of sodium pump, which causes accumulation of sodium ions in the cytoplasm and thereby develop cell hydration. Let's take an example of kidneys. Hydropic and hyaline droplet dystrophies occur in nephrotic syndrome. Here massive proteinuria combined with edemas, hypo and dysproteinemia, hyperlipoproteidemia further complicates various kidney diseases like membranous nephropathy, glomerulonephritis and amyloidosis. Hyaline droplet and hydropic dystrophy of the renal tubular epithelium and nephropathic syndrome arises due to the damage of various membrane enzymatic systems responsible for the reabsorption of protein and water. A point to be noted here is that, hyaline droplet dystrophy of nephrocytes is associated with infiltration mechanism which causes increased permeability of glomerular filtrate and subsequent decomposition. This causes the disruption of vacuolar lysosomal apparatus of nephrocytes that provide protein reabsorption. Whereas, Hydropic dystrophy of nephrocytes is the result of infiltration and decomposition mechanisms of another system of reabsorption. Here the disruption occurs in the basal labyrinth, which works on sodium-depending ATP aces and provides sodium and water reabsorption. In liver however, hydropic dystrophy occurs in viral hepatitis. This is seen as a result of protein synthesis disturbance in hepatocytes as a consequence of viral reproduction. Interestingly, a particular structure known as Mallory's bodies are found in hepatocytes in acute alcoholic hepatitis or even during primary biliary cirrhosis, cholestasis and other hepatic diseases. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. The next video will be about parenchymal dyslipidosis.